Many patients ask us to transfer two embryos at a time. And this sounds very logical. Two embryos, obviously you increase your chance of getting pregnant. If they both implant, then you end up with a twin pregnancy, which is a bonus. And they don't understand why we tell them to transfer only a single embryo at a time. And in fact, lots of IVF clinics will routinely transfer two embryos. And we think this is actually bad practice. And in all good clinics all over the world, the standard is a single embryo transfer. And let's look at this and stop and think. Suppose you do an IVF cycle and you get two top quality blastocysts. One of your options is to put both of them at one time. Now, if you put both and nothing implants, you have no embryos left and you have to start a fresh cycle all over again. If you transfer two and one implants, that's fine. You have a healthy pregnancy, but you can't control that. So it's too much of a chance. If you transfer two and you end up with a twin pregnancy, that's not unalloyed joy because the complication rate of the twin pregnancy is high. Your risk of miscarriages, preterm premature rupture of membranes, preterm labor, and often these babies will end up in an NICU and have all kinds of long-term neurological handicaps. So we tell patients have as many babies as you like, but one at a time because the uterus was designed for just one baby. So the live birth rate is best when you transfer only a single embryo. Because if you have two and you transfer one and you get pregnant with that one, great. You can always use the second embryo for your second baby. And even if you don't get pregnant, you can then transfer that second frozen top quality blastocyst after thawing in your second cycle. So you don't have to waste all that time, money and energy on starting a fresh cycle. So I always tell patients, transfer only one embryo at a time as a top quality blastocyst to maximize your chance of a live healthy baby.